Hey guys, I'm Rob. I'm a Capricorn and I like pasta. My name is Rob, R-O-B, Bach, B-A-C-H. <laughs> Rob Bach, Burlington, Wisconsin. I've uh, been flying since I was a teenager, started in gliders, was a line boy for a long time, and just kind of worked my way up. I fly for a living now, I'm very lucky. Uh, but I try not to remind myself that I have to wear a tie and talk on a radio to have fun with flying. When I get off of work, I uh, throw the tie in the trunk and jump in this at sunset and go around the patch and then I remember why I started flying in the first place. I'm into old airplanes. I like vintage airplanes. I grew up with antique biplanes and my family's always had uh, old airplanes. So I wanted something old that wasn't a restoration. I'd done that before. So I wanted to build something that I could personalize. But I wanted the antique feel, antique look. So the peat seemed the natural thing. And going with an experimental plane and building yourself, you can put your personal stamp on it. The, the plans to me are a blank canvas. Uh, we know kind of what it's supposed to look like, but lots of latitude to solve engineering problems or add my artistic spin on things. So the peat's the perfect uh, flying test bed for all that. I, this, I've got about 18 months of work in this. And uh, the story that personalizes this airplane is uh, just, I was getting close to finishing and getting ready to paint. And uh, my very dear friend, after 40 years, decided to stop flying and he retired and he was kind of moping around the airport. And so uh, we got him up in a peat and pole and he came down just smiling ear to ear. And uh, so I pulled him over to the hangar and said, Brad, this is your airplane. We'll work out the money stuff later. Just tell me what color you want. So I customized it for him. He's quite a tall man, so I had to push the uh, rudder pedals and brakes out, especially for him. And uh, he was part of the creative process at the end, doing the color, the artwork is his idea, uh, some of the, the creature comforts inside, uh, the size of fuel tank. The, so I made it personally for him and his kind of flying. And it's, it's worked out great. Of course, that left me with no airplane. So um, the very peat that we took him up in uh, crashed in a swamp. And uh, so we pulled it out of the swamp of the helicopter the next day, and um, he asked me if I'd just take it. So I took it and started rebuilding it. And as he's watching me rebuild this thing, he's like, well, I really want that airplane flying back. So it's like, okay, we can do that. So that is uh, coming along quite well. It's in the paint booth now, ready to shoot. And it's been customized again for him, which leaves me without an airplane. So I decided I should go out and really get some pieces and make one for me. Uh, so that's kind of where we are now. And so hopefully next year we'll have all three of them done sitting all next to each other here at Oshkosh. Aero TV is brought to you by Cirrus Design's Vision SJ50 single engine personal jet offers exceptional fuel efficiency flexible seating for up to seven, advanced avionics, and all the Cirrus safety features you expect, including the Cirrus airframe parachute system. With its V-tail design, the Cirrus Vision is technologically advanced, yet engineered to be simple to fly, to allow owner pilots more lifestyle pursuits than any other personal aircraft. Learn more about the Vision SJ50 at cirrusdesign.com.